Hi everybody, so I thought today I'd do a little shopping haul video on some clearance uh, or markdown items I found at Target and Kroger here locally in the Dayton area. So I'm just going to open them up and see what we got. So the first thing, I got this at Kroger and it was marked down to $1.25 and it's just one of the Littlest Pet Shops blind bags. And um, the only thing that looked like was wrong with it is someone tore off like part of the top here, but it's not been opened or anything. So I figured for $1.25, we'll see what we get. And this is the first Littles Pet Shop blind bag I've actually opened. So I'm kind of excited to see what I get. So let's go ahead and open it. And we got a little purple bug. She's really cute. Like, I guess a ladybug, I'm assuming. I like the colors, the purple and like the kind of light pink. And then it comes with like a little cupcake stand, I guess. It looks kind of like a cupcake stand. And then a little, I guess you put this on her head. It's like a, almost like a, I guess it is kind of like a cupcake. I guess that's like the cupcake swirl. So she's like a, ah, oops, <laughs> a little cupcake bug. So she's really cute. I like her. And, you know, for $1.25, that's a really good deal. So I love bargain shopping. Um, it's awesome when you can find, you know, toys marked down to almost nothing. So I got her. And then at Kroger, I also got one of the new Collection 2 Monster High. Um, I think these are Mega Blocks or I think they're Mega Blocks. I'm not sure. It doesn't say on here. But one of the... Uh, new figures and this is the Alyssa bat figure and um, from the last collection I got a couple of the uh, Egyptian cat like ones I can't remember what their names were but I got those and then um, there's a couple more in this collection I might get because there's like a black cat one and then there's another cat one but I really wanted the Alyssa bat one so when I saw that they were on sale for um, I think it was about like uh, about 25 to 30 percent off the regular price which is uh, $3.99 so they were around three bucks or so but I figured since I've been wanting one since they were marked down I'd go ahead and get this one and Alyssa Bat is one of my favorite of the Monster High dolls um, other than like I said the you know cat themed ones which I like and I also like Draculaura a lot and um, let's see Go ahead and open the little thing that comes with it here to see which ones they have. Yeah, the other ones I'm thinking about getting are Caddy Noir and maybe uh, Torlai. Although um, Operetta is kind of cool looking too, so I don't know, maybe. We'll see. But I'm definitely thinking about the other two cat ones. But let's go ahead and take a look at her. So, Elizabeth. And she's really cute. Um, I mean, purple and black mostly, which is, you know, her colors. And I love her hair, really pretty purple hair. Um, cute little black dress that, I'm not sure if you can tell, but the dress has a little bit of a sparkle to it. It's like a little bit glittery. And then on the front here, it's got kind of like a uh, corset look to it. And then some black boots. And she comes with a stand which uh, all the ones that I got from the last series came with stands too. So maybe I can get her to stand up okay. Yeah, I'm not always very good at getting them on these things. Yeah, there we go. So got her on the stand. If she, oh, if she doesn't fall over. And then it comes with a couple other little accessories like this little Monster High, I guess, notebook maybe is what that is. So we'll go ahead and put that in her hand. And then it also comes with a couple of little bracelets. So, ah, well, that one I lost. Oops. Sorry, knocked over the camera. I'm really bad about that. I, I don't know how many times in my videos I've knocked over the camera. I guess uh, that goes to show I'm just a klutzy person. So let's go ahead and put the bracelet on here. Yeah, maybe that's not the right way. Actually, it almost looks like it would fit better on her upper arm because it's like really big. But I guess that's how it's supposed to fit. Yeah. 
The ones that um, came with the other two I got last time fit a little bit better than that. They at least didn't go up the arm so much. Ooh. And let's go ahead and put this one on. So I'm not too uh, enthusiastic about the little bracelets because they don't fit that well and they slide up too easily. But other than that, I think she's really cute and I like her. I'm going to go ahead and move that stuff to the side. And then the next thing I got that was marked down was one of these mini My Little Pony metallic figures. Um, and I got this at Target. And I think like the Monster High doll, it was marked down about 25 to 30%. So it was like about a buck off. So it was around three bucks instead of four. And the ones that I would really like to have, I'd really like to have either the Rainbow Dash, the Trixie, um, the Rarity, or the Twilight Sparkle, I guess. And, of course, the uh, rare golden Pinkie Pie would always be awesome to have. But we'll see which one we got. Blue's one of my favorite colors, so that's kind of why I'm leaning towards Rainbow Dash or Trixie. But, oh, it looks like I did get a blue one, so yes! I think it's Trixie, yeah. So that's awesome. I got one of the ones I most wanted. So, she's really pretty. Definitely, like, a shiny metallic gleam to her. Um, you can see the little cutie mark there. I really like these. They're cute. I love anything that's metallic or shimmery or glittery or anything like that. And I think this is the first time I've seen these in the store. So I'm trying to figure out how this uh, stand works. I guess you put it like that. And then like that maybe? Not positive. Or maybe, oh, she comes with a little hole here, so maybe you, like, put it in the hole? Oh, yeah, okay. So she actually kind of just floats in midair on the thing, so that's pretty cool. So she's really, I'm glad I got one that I really wanted, and I may try to get more of this collection if I get over to Target again, because that's the only place I've seen them so far. But I don't know, they may have them other places too. But I figured since it was marked down, heck, why not? Give it a try. So she's cute. I like her. And then um, the last thing I got while shopping at Target that was marked down was uh, this Judy Moody and Friends uh, Amy Namy and Ace Reporter book. And uh, I think this was, yeah, it's originally $4.99. I think it was marked down to like uh, $3.50 or $3.99, something like that. So again, around a dollar off. But I just, I decided to get this because, I mean, it looks cute. The pictures are awesome. I mean, I always did kind of like Judy Moody. I've read a few of her books, and she's pretty funny and amusing. And another reason I got this one is because I always loved kids' books where they have a character who's a writer or wants to be a writer or is kind of like a uh, reporter kind of character, which is what uh, Amy Namy is in this book. And, like, one of my favorite kids' movies is, you know, Harriet the Spy, because I just, I could relate to that so much, because when I was a kid, I always, um, I was kind of a spy. I was always, you know, spying on people. And I think part of that is when you want to be a writer, you look for stories all around you, and some of the most interesting stories can be found in, you know, overhearing other people or listening in to other people. And I still do that to some extent. Like, I'll go out in public and... Um, just sit quietly and listen to, you know, the things other people are saying around me or watch what they do and stuff like that. So I think this looks like a cute book. It looks like it'd be a great book for um, probably somewhat like beginning readers, those who are, have advanced to chapter books but aren't, you know, middle grade readers yet or anything. And I do love the illustrations in it. It has some great illustrations. So it's a cute book. I'm definitely going to give it a try, read it, see if I like it. And uh, that's it for today. That was uh, some of the stuff I found that was marked down on my recent shopping trips. So uh, if you guys have a favorite out of all the things I got, make sure to let me know. Comment. Tell me which is your favorite and why. And uh, anything else you want to comment, feel free to do so. Uh, tell me anything you want to. I'm, I love to get comments, even if they're not on topic. And um, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. And please like this video. And I'll see you all later. So I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.